Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Yes, I am back in the survival world today, because uh, there's something I was talking about doing, and I thought, may as well give it a shot. I'm going to challenge the impossible. I'm going to fly my base, fly the lab. Uh, I was looking for the center of mass, it's right about here. We are currently at 1,720 tons. So, I have everything on me to make about 60 large air blades. So I'm going to start stacking up some air blades on the foundations here. We're going to take the containers with us. I'm going to take the conveyors and uh, the, uh, the water station. Now you see that uh, beacon D, that's at the edge of there. So if I put the cockpit here, I should be able to have this entire thing within animation range to be able to fly this thing. And that's what we're going to do. Now the question is, where do I put them all? And I'm probably going to start stacking them right in the corners here. Go ahead and get our handy dandy post. Uh, what color should we make them here? Uh, let's, let's go with black. I don't think I have anything black except for the floor. Well, that is technically black, so I guess it doesn't really matter where I want them to. Let's see what the center of mass was again. Let's see here. Uh, I don't know if these are going to slide off or not. If they do, it's going to be quite interesting. And yes, I do have to dig this whole thing out, especially the area covering up all these conveyor pipes. But yeah, miners, water pumps, everything. Pack it up and moving. We're moving the base. So it's right about here. So it's going to be... Yeah, I might as well just go on the corners. So why not? Let's do this. All right, so I'm gonna save some, save you some time here. I'm gonna get everything all built in place and wire it up, and I'll bring you back when it's time to start digging out. Okay, I am just connecting the last of the the larger blades here. I have 72 of them. Kind of looks like a scene from the Matrix, if you ask me. Uh, I have no idea if this is actually gonna work or not. Uh, it took me a while to configure them. I'm probably sure I've got things. Mixed up. Uh, whatever. I want to see if I can actually get this thing off the ground. I don't think this is going to be enough. Hang on. Uh, I thought I heard... I thought I heard him disconnecting. Sometimes if you're right here, you'll actually be hitting a hitbox up here. Oh, and I forgot to connect to there. Uh, I have built five more large deuterium generators, which should be able to provide this. Uh, I might even just tap this system in here somewhere. I got a, I got a switchboard here somewhere. So we got all those batteries there too. Fortunately, most like I said, most of the digging has been done, so we don't have anything to worry about. Uh, sure, we'll just grab it off of here, grab you, and... Whole base, go <laughs> whole place just browns out. I uh, love it. All right, so we get some fuel. Those things, uh, yeah, seventy-two air blades. That's thirty-six thousand kilowatts, or thirty-six kilowatts, thirty-six thousand watts, whatever you want to call it. I like the build vision though. It adds a nice uh, pattern to it. But no, I think this might actually work. But, yeah, I've done some crazy things with failures and figured they'd work, but not this time. Well, we won't know until we dig it out. i got to put an air blade on here, too. And we'll just throw some, throw some batteries on there. Originally, I was going to disconnect it, but I've got a solar beacon on there. And right up to here, it's about 78. All right, so I'm gonna take this off so I can get a little bit more frame rate because it's not gonna last once I get this thing off the ground or even unplanted. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, uh, this one. Wait for it. There it is. Goes to here. This is just to bridge the gap to the other side. To the other columns. Now we definitely don't have the power. Yeah, nothing new. Alright. 
Give you that. Give you that. And that. Oh, there we go. We just got it up. So that's six generators. Five generators plus the batteries. So that's about 60 kilowatts, I figure. Get a little bit of extra juice. So I'm assuming these things are running. The blenders. Yes, they are. Alright, so I'm going to do a save here. And I think... I think we're going to sit right over here. I think this is where our cockpit's going to be. And I think just to save on weight, we'll go with the 2x3. Just because. Right? I don't want to weigh this down thing, thing down too much. Wow. And yes, the build lag is real. The flying lag is going to be even worse. So let me do a save and then we'll start digging. Uh, I wonder if we'd be okay without an air blade over there. Let's go throw some small ones on there. Just because. That'll be the front end of the ship and then hopefully... It'll hold these pipes in place. No clue. The center of mass is actually reading way over there, so I don't think this is going to be an issue. Uh, and in case you're wondering about me like destroying my world here, I'm not. A, it's an old backup. This is. This was the one oh, for the wireless remote control. So this was a little while ago. All right, now let's get some air blades on here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And knowing me, I probably don't even have enough for it. Uh, see, nine. And one, two. This is just to support the weight in the front. Nothing more. And yeah, we'll go three. All right, go nine. I'll just put batteries here, so I don't have to worry about the switchboards because most of the switchboards coming out here are actually in the ground, anyways. Now I hope I have enough. No, I don't. Oh, those green electronic parts. Uh, let me go find the flyer here, and I'll bring you back. Never mind, I just went into the into the lab there and I had a printer full of them. Which is nice. Throw the switchboard on here. Uh, like a so. Probably could have used that one there, but whatever. Actually, I should probably get some batteries on there. Um, no, I do not want build vision. I'm all over the place today. Uh, inventory, that's what I want. How much power do those things use? 100, so one battery each. Sounds good to me. Okay, so let's go to batteries. Where are they? And we'll put them on the front. Why not? Oh, we can't. Well, we could. One, two. Yeah, we'll put two rows on, just because we can. Be something else at the front end of this thing lost power as I was flying. <laughs> yeah, it just sort of cartwheels over. Somehow, the get it going like 50k, and this thing drops down, loses power, does like a a javelin, well not javelin, um, pole vaulting. Hits the ground, pull vaults the base right up in the air. Alright, so I think we are almost ready. Just gotta, now I gotta wire everything up. So now I have a lot of digging to do. So I'm gonna do a cut here. And bring it back when it's almost free. I want to try to make sure I don't actually destroy any of it while I'm digging it up. 
So I'm going to be using the left mouse button the whole time. So anyway, I shall see you in a moment. And she's got power. Okay, I've been at this for probably about 45 minutes here. I realize how big this base actually is. But I think I got all the small little rocks. I've been sort of noticing them off in the distance. When I'm over here, I'll see like a little black speck. Yeah, and that's not a safe. Uh, but yeah, the uh, old dirt clumps. There's one tiny little dirt clump that floats will stop this entire thing from moving. Which kind of sucks, but at the same time, too, you can exploit that. And, uh, you know, have like floating floating bases and stuff like that, like I did with the, uh, my, uh, one of my death boxes from the old survival world. But we are almost done here. Uh, there was one my one water pump over there I had to disconnect just because it's down about 30 feet trying to get that thing out of the hole is going to be hard enough as it is but this should be it I have to have it anchored over in that corner there should be just a matter of taking out a little bit of dirt now when I hop in the cockpit after I power all everything back up because I turned it off to save power I'm going to rev it up full speed Take out the dirt and see what happens. But I just want to do a quick round first. Make sure I don't see any dirt anywhere. Make sure the bottom bottom of my lab is all squeaky, squeaky clean. Sorry, my uh, throat just went dry there for a minute. And so far, everything looks good. Yeah. What's over there? That's nothing. Uh, the only other place it would be still touching, if it was, would be somewhere around these conveyors here. That might be an issue. There's an issue right there. No, that's a uh, conveyor. I think we are good to go. Maybe just dig this out a little bit. Yeah. Okay, we are just about ready to go. And just a few seconds here. I want to make sure that nothing is touching. I've been going over it with like a fine tooth comb, just making sure that I got everything good. Just trying to find the one spot that's actually holding the thing down. Could be a problem. But I have the water pump out too. I have all these conveyor lines should be all free all the miners are free all the conveyors are free and I just saw through the world it's cool this is all freed up yes all right well let me do a quick save here and then uh, we'll see if this is actually gonna do anything normally I say if this is gonna work but it's not a matter if it's gonna work if it's a matter if it's gonna do anything besides crash my game but anyways, uh, give me one second. Okay, save has been done. So all I gotta do now is turn the big air blades on. Then I gotta go turn the uh, air blades on the water pump on. Whoa, that was a lag central. And I'm just gonna switch this one on. I almost forgot I was in survival there. Okay, let me just do uh, that. Did I get it? Yeah, there we go. Alright. So now, river up. Let's see what happens. Your body sustained heavy injury. Let's try that again, shall we? I died so hard I crashed again. Not the first time. Anyway, let's go ahead and we just rev this thing up. I can feel the lag. This is ridiculous. Alright, now for the fun part. Oh, that's the wrong corner. This is 
something going on with my spacebar. The lag's so bad, it doesn't recognize me hitting spacebar. Spamming the spacebar. Okay. Okay, we're still touching somewhere. Oh, oh whatever. So is it this that's still touching? Well, let's go do something stupid. Let's go underneath and see if we can find this one little thing. It's in here somewhere. I know it is. Yes, it's laggy. I apologize for that. Yeah, it's going to be one tiny little itty bitty rock. Somewhere. I know it's not the air blade because I made sure it was green when I placed it. So that is not the case. Where are you? Make sure I got all the edges. Oh, could you be it? No. Hmm. I see you right here. Okay. So, is it going to shoot up in the air or is it going to drop and kill me? Probably drop and kill me. Probably nothing because that was not it. Hmm. Oh, well, now the hunt begins. Yes, I did uh, take out a tile by mistake. See, it could be a conveyor line, too. But yeah, just gotta look around. Apologize for the lag. It's, it's not me. It's my save file, I swear. Where is it? Where are you, you little bugger? You're holding me from doing some crazy things here. It's got to be a conveyor. It's the only thing I can think of. Unless there is... Oh, sorry. Uh, there's a slight possibility. There's a little nugget somewhere in a... A ceiling tile. Hmm. It's basically anything that's attached to this will hold it down if anything touches it. So I guess I'm gonna have to do a bit of snooping around. I'll bring it back if I find anything. Oh, I just found this. This could be it. Apparently not. Could have been though. No. Yeah, just, just gotta look for that one little rock bit. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, every time I find a little chunk, I'll start recording and see if that's it. I see another little bugger over here. I don't think that's gonna be it though, but he might help us find the one we're looking for. Where are you? Where'd you go? There you are. Yeah, little things like that can stop a world. Unfortunately, this one wasn't it, so I gotta look around some more. What about this miner over here? Looks like it's touching the wall. Been going around, I haven't found um, much. But that could be it. Let's uh, charge the battery here. And uh, that might be it. No. Wow, this is. 
This is being touchy. Anyway, I'm going to keep looking. It's got to be here somewhere. Well, here we are about a month later. Uh, I never did get around look, trying to find that piece of dirt. It could be absolutely anywhere. But, as you've noticed, about a week after I had recorded the last segment you just saw, I actually had edited the episode, but I got the idea with the blueprinting. Why not we do that? So I have gone ahead and made a blueprint of this. Um, BCP Labs, it includes the air blades. This is what it takes to make it. It's actually not as much as I thought it was. Uh, it's something like 6,000 blocks. I've already done the count on it. But it's not too bad. You know, it's, <laughs> I was expecting more than that. But I have made the blueprint. So I'm going to load up in a creative world somewhere. And we're going to see if this thing will actually fly. Maybe we'll add some more air blades to it if we have to. We'll get this thing up and running. This looks like a good spot. Should have enough room. Uh, this was... One of the many saves, I try to get in the habit of doing multiple saves now when I work on projects, just in case things go wrong, at least I can go back to a previous step so I can avoid the catastrophe. Uh, as far as the blueprinting goes, uh, I don't know if anybody has noticed, but one, one of the builds I was not able to actually upload was the, the pod racer. Sadly, the pod racer had a fatality and I never actually have a don't actually have a proper save of it for some reason so uh, that's definitely a project we're gonna have to look at in the future anyways uh, let's uh, load up my lab shall we let's see how big this thing is wow even oh my god very nice you could actually see a rotational axis all right, all right, there you go. It's over the horizon. Oh, this will be fun. Let's do it. Wait for the lag. I don't know how many conveyors I have on this thing, but there's a lot. And here's the lag. Wow, that was actually pretty good. There we go. It's flying. Hooray. Yeah, too bad it's half a kilometer away. And let the physics. Am I? Are you serious? My lab flies. <gasps> oh, this is amazing. What's that cockpit? I love those big air blades. I gotta remember to get Rise of the Valkyries playing here. Beacon and all. Oh. Steering's a little messed. Are we really at the height of the world? I think we are. What a shame. So what's up with my... Oh... Uh, let me fix that. Okay, I decided to uh, bring it into an area where we have a little more headroom to play with. I also did uh, resave it after fixing the air blade, so we are good to go. What was that hole from? Oh, that must have been when I was trying to dig this thing out. But there we go, we have the lab. It is flying, it is fully functioning. Uh, since it's up in the air like this, let's see if we can actually go inside and see if we can walk around in this. This is something else. I actually didn't think it would work. There we go, right there. Challenging the impossible. Challenging the impossible. And like right, like it says right here, no mads, no no limits. That's right. The only thing that didn't get copied was the containers out here, and that's because they were separate structures. Uh, I'd imagine. Um, I'm assuming that the inventories never got copied. Oh, I I can't tell because I'm in, I'm in creative. Anyway, uh, so yes, that is it. There's power room over there. There's the food and drink room over here. I have this all set up with uh, greenhouses outside. Uh, there was, you know, in case anybody wants to do this, I'll give you a quick tour here. I never did finish up my bedroom. Uh, this is the, the main print room here. 
uh, switches here control the storage you can look back in the videos of when I set this up you'll be able to figure out what it all does uh, everything was basically mass production and I'll show you the conveyors underneath in case you missed that one yes I like my conveyors as much as the lag kills me but I basically had I think those three there were supplying like all the higher tier parts and then each one of these main ones here had its own miner so I had one for plates, one for frames, one for circuits, one for glass and so on and so forth. There was a water pump that will have to be adjusted of course but there's my lab. Let's take it for a flight. Yeah, this is, I'm still shocked that this thing is actually off the ground and moving at pretty good speed too. All right, cue music. And even then, I'm like zoomed out all the way right now. I wonder if everything down inside here got transferred. Because I know large containers were attached to the grid. And the hover pad switches should all be connected as well. I, I, I'm impressed this thing actually turns pretty good. I didn't think this thing would actually be aerodynamic and I bet you anything those air blades in the front there on the, the water pump what are actually doing it. Let's see if we can actually get this thing any higher or is this it? I think it's it because this thing's just so tall. But there we go. A month in the making and it finally did it. I have absolutely no idea where the dirt was. It could have been just in the corner somewhere. So obvious. But yeah, I am going to, uh, I'm actually going to post this up on the Steam Workshop. I'm also going to put a link in the description down below in case anybody does, isn't with Steam. So if they want to download it for themselves and do some crazy stuff. Oh, the water tower hit something. It's got a lot big nose on the thing of it, this thing. Oh yeah, anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you in the next one. Later.